There is enough firepower here that if you do not pay attention to the details, then you can find yourself in some problems, particularly if the home fans start to get involved. Set to go, far north Queensland, Joe Chi wins the tap. Screen from Pinder, skips past his Deng. He's got to run him up in the air and then helps himself to do the opening score of the game. And he's taken one to the midriff as well. 90 seconds played. Phoenix, none of two from the fields. Chi against Deng. That height advantage down low. Double team arrives. Liafa, top of the key, gets the look. And he comes up with the Phoenix first points in the game. Picked up the foul on that occasion. Deng as well. Creek has the Phoenix only foul. Shot clock to 10. Dan Liafa open. Beach Creek inside. Just a little too easy. Found Mitch Creek right in the middle of that. And... That's two of the easiest ones he's going to see this evening, you'd expect. Portnoy elevates, comes up with the three. Alex spoke about it, I spoke about it. You go off the dribble and you're creating for someone to get an easy score yourself or get an easy one from the three-point line. It's high percentage basketball. That's high percentage there. Cairns have now scored the last seven and lead by six here. And that's a rungy. That's Joe Chi, but they can't find a passing lane. Creek is open. Liafa out wide. Shot clock to three. Liafa elevates. Can't convert. Oh, excellent play there from Ruben to Rangi. Creek working hard for him on one wing. He's joining in now, Mumford. Wants to go to the foul line and comes up with a two for his first score in the game. They looked a, a whole lot better just with the energy and effort. And... Taipans are 6 of 6 from the stripe so far. And again, they scored because they got Chi into that on ball. To Machado. They left him open, looking for his first points in the ball game, and it's a three ball. Now in the corner. What noise firing. He likes the look of that as well. They're 3 of 5 from deep. Looking for actually such a focus when these teams played last week. It's Chi involved as well. So we're seeing the two bigs used in tandem here, and it pays off as Joe Chi comes up with his first. And got an open three in the corner. This is a game that they have to be desperate for. They're coming out. Lidden, not at Pano. Couldn't find a passing lane. Adnan, penetration, the floater works for the captain as he opens his scoring account. Back the other way, some authority as well, but unsuccessfully until Pinder joins in and cleans up there. Yep. And three of three from the stripe, Glidden. It was none of one in the season coming into this game, but the quick release pass finds Paul Quile charging up the floor to come up with the two. Mumford gets some separation here from Paul Quile. The stand's ready to greet him. Mumford finds a way, pass, gets it done. Chance of a three-point play here for Munford. For the Cairns Taipans enjoy a one-point lead. Last play of the opening quarter. They get Pender a good look from close range, and he adds the two. The pass for Keanu Pinder just a little too much of him, and that's like almost off the cylinder by Ruben Tarangi on Munford's shot, and eventually it's cleaned up by Brandon Ashley. Chi put a huge mismatch down in the low block, and they do eventually find him and comes up with the finish. Really good flash from Ashley that time. Saw that Chi was fronted, got to the free throw line, and easy over the top in that time. Well, that's going to be on on that weak side, particularly when the on balls on the 45, a hard show, and a little hockey assist with the extra pass. Phoenix by one, but here's Madrid then looking to change that. Peels off the triple. He's got seven in the game to take over as the high scorer. Hands back on top by two months, but looking for the answering triple. Yes. Now he's there doing a great defensive job to worry Ashley out of the points. And the Taipans looking to retake the lead here. Madrid then helps himself to three more. Double figures now for him with ten points. There's a three at the other end. They're off and running again. Machado Deng joining in. Slows it down for Pinder. Oh, oh, wow. oh, he's putting on a clinic. Juk Den Hickens can be very streaky. And then you see Pinder. Chance now for the Taipans. And they get the offensive rebound after the miss from Ben Air. And the Juk Deng is turning it on. 
as Machado. 5.7 assists for him so far. And he's going to even up the tally at 7 and 7. Mitch Creek against Deng. Former Adelaide teammates go at it. Mitch Creek with a right hand. Comes up with a 2. His first score in this quarter. And, it, and that's human nature. It's easy to do that. But the tough teams and the really good leaders go and make plays at the defensive end as we see Machado throw up a little flipper. Inside the last three minutes of the first half. Phoenix down eight. Mumford exploring. Feeds Pino and comes up with the goods in game number 100. Dane Pino. Ben Air in the corner. It's on Quoll. Noy. Pick fires. Took the bump. Off glass. Comes up with the two. What a I don't know why. Yeah. I'm with you, Hammer. They got Mitch Creek on the baseline of that. And offensively, they. It's even the scoreboard ticking over. That's not their problem. They've given up 49 points. They come up empty on that play face, the Phoenix. And here's Machado. Going to work. Gets down low. Adds another two. He's into double figures with 11 points and seven assists. Portnoy working on Creek. Playing with those two fouls. Just did enough, Mitch Creek. To worry him out of the points. And now gets it to Mumford who gets the two and draws a foul. When if they got stops, the offense would be even better again. Yeah. They're taking it out of the net and still being able to score 46. Well done there from Pinder to get the ball knife between a couple of defenders. And Machado, oh, dispossessed. That's almost unsportsmanlike. Gave it up. Glidden steps through and adds another two to the tally. They're playing with a whole lot of confidence tonight. Machado, skip pass into the corner, Majuk Deng, finishing touches on the half-time buzzer. It's all the bottom of the net for Majuk Deng. 16 in the first half for him. Now it's Portnoy. He looks to go to work. Oh, gee, rejected the shot. Athletic work from the big man there. Like they need to get some energy and some movement and screening to be able to play with a little bit of passion. Right now, you just don't sense the passion. Ding, skip pass. Portnoy fires the three off the mark. Hold well on, Pinder to keep it alive with the offensive rebound. Back to Noy, who can place range, adds to his tally. Now with nine in the game. Ding down in the low block. But Machado wants to take his chances here, and he bit off more than he could chew against Joe Chi. It's cool to Pinder. Now the shot comes, and it's all the bottom of the net for the Cairns type fans as Bull Quile knocks down the three. That Southeast Melbourne are just so desperate to get the ball into Chi. That's why it ends up becoming so stagnant. They've got it in now. Finally get a score out of it. Now Munford. 14 points, two assists for him. Creek with some energy, rolls into the paint and comes up with two more. It's more qual. Machado getting arrested. A double team Jar White. Hold on, Liafa. Natai snuck back door, helped himself to two. Portnoy put on the accelerator from him as well. They get it to Kenny and turn Qual. Birch base flunk in front of him. Adnan makes the two. Nice finish for Qual. Creek, he wasn't terrible. Just can't. Put it in the hole. That thing looks like a thimble up there now for him. Well, Jarwai relieved of it. Glidden with the help D came across. He's got Adam in support. Running hard creek on the other wing. Comes up with the two. He's in the double. And here they are. Well, Ten at the moment. Margin cut to seven. Biggest lead we've seen in the game was Cairns on top by 11 a little earlier in this turn. Creek just muscles his way down and adds another two. He's got 12, including six in this quarter. Pinder working on Chi. Spinning baseline with the right hand. Nice finish from Keanu Pinder, who's up on 11 points on five of six shooting. Wow. Another enterprising night at the office from the former 36er. Creek in traffic. Lost the handle. Scoops it back up. Danger man, Adnam. Knocks down the three. They're back to within four. It's as close as they have been since early in the second. I think if they can just get their noses in front... A genuine test for the Cairns Taipans to be able to hang in there, but getting in front is the tough part, and it just became a whole lot tougher. Chi the rebound goes to Creek, he gets past Bull Qual, attracted a lot of attention, Finger all too much on it, got his own rebound, nice finish from Mitch Creek, who's now got 14 points in the game. Three on the shot clock, Machado goes on with it. Couldn't finish it though. Now Chi tried to tap it to the advantage of Tarang. It's scooped up by Adnam. Creek to his left. Got support on the other wing. 
And Tarangi went hard at Bull Qual. Good contest, and Tarangi gets the finish. Get him on the on ball, but get him in the post. Then the mismatch can happen. He'll have a field day on the guards. The action has to go through Creek to get going here. Oh, Nostradamus, Alex. Loudon calls for Creek to get involved. He's spooned. And Stoner keep being so good at getting to the rim, like plays like that, and finishing. They had 56 at half time, Cairns. They scored 13 in the third quarter and five in this fourth so far. It's dried up for them as Bill Cole goes on with it. It was fouled. Will they get the continuation here? Have to, Case. Have to. 15 and 10 for Keanu Pinder. Six minutes to play. Phoenix down five with problems and it just got a whole lot tougher. Just seven points now for the Phoenix in almost five minutes of this final quarter. And Jordan Nantai looking to finish. Into the offensive rebound and the putback too. Rebounding contest by the Phoenix. Fans getting involved as well. Cairns Convention Centre is Mumford. And then we've got two games on Monday as well. Perth versus Melbourne. The pick of them is Machado with the extended arm adding another two. 16 for him along with 10 assists. Most assists in the game last season, 14. And that was by Will McDowell-White. His creek, busted play, throws down the two. Plenty of time on the clock, three and a half to play. Pinder, he was patient there. Machado made the play for Pinder to add the two. They've been a dynamic duo in this game. His creek against Nartai. Single coverage for the moment. Quick release two from Creek. Rattles around the rim and works. Mitch Creek. And Pinder's 19 points and 12 rebounds. Oh, it's a good battle for player of the game honors. And this man continues to impress. So that's 21 now for Pinder. Munford got it from Glidden. After create, took on Machado. Might looking shot, but he makes it work. 18 in the game now for Xavier Munford. Pinder has to be right in the conversation for most improved, I, I would suspect. Yep, certainly. Oh, oh dear. Phoenix again. Creek. Oh, oh dear. Page. Gets it done. Chance of a three-point play. The team's in front in both the first two quarters. Biggest lead of the game was canned by 11 in the third. Here's Munford elevated, knocking down the two. We've got a three-point ball game, a minute to play. He throws in the second or third quarters. And oh, there we go. His first miss of the season. So Jordan Nartai will try and just compose himself here. Anything is a bonus. Oh, he's Let's missed the close. Well, well, well. Here Again. come the Phoenix. They don't need threes here. They can continue to attack. Creek. Working on Dean baseline, can't complete it, loose ball, scramble, Creek's got it back again. In traffic, shot clock rolls to single numbers, Mumford then on the retreat, down low, can't finish it, Creek had it, Machado knocked it away from him, and now out of court, Cairns will get possession. Now Mumford the wants the foul, that was really not a foul. And eventually the oh, foul, oh, oh, it on the Cairns tie pan. Got to go for the three, says the hammer. And he'd probably say, give it to me. I'm ready to go. Here's Munford. Adnam. Oh, he took for Creek and he's tossed oh. it out of court. Put the cue in the rack. And Hammer said, put a fork in him. In him. And oh, I supported him. But to their credit, they showed the reward when they get up and in. <laughs> oh, you, I think there was a... Just a... I got, I got a little... A little, little hesitation. <laughs> oh, Kenny... With victory over the southeast Melbourne Phoenix. Keanu Pinder is our footlocker player of the game. He put some pressure on Mumford and took him out of the last two. And it's the Taipans who prevail 90-85. The Phoenix playoff hopes are in tatters.